Hi, my name is Celeste Fiana, and we're here in Venice, California at Catherine Andrews Art Opening. Let's go check it out. I came out to support the artist, you know, I came out to support the, the, their work, you know, as, as you guys can see, it's amazing. Which one's your favorite piece? Oh, it's got to be this one right here. They call this the love of God. And I truly believe that I'm experiencing this moment right now. I think we all are. But until you accept the love of God, you'll never understand it like I do. See, this is me right here before the tan. And then my angels, they surround me and they protect me and keep me safe from harm. This way, my wings, I can fly. When you look at that picture, you all automatically think busy and fun. That's what I think. Yeah. So when I look at that, it's kind of like, when I look at that piece, I'm kind of like, yeah, that's kind of like my music. See, everywhere I turn, I love the colors that she uses. Yeah. She uses amazing colors. And um, I love her work. It's amazing. It's very spiritual. <laughs> woman is basically an angel and she's healing him with her love and with God's love and with Reiki and I just think it's so beautiful and um, it really touches me a lot so I'm just really grateful that Catherine exists and that she created such a beautiful work as this because it's really it's really healed me a lot tonight so I'm really glad I came here <laughs> imprint on the youth a new vibration ultimately the original vibration the OG vibration and that's one thing that Catherine Andrews has the ability to tap into is the OG vibration and she puts it in her paintings and it brings you back to feeling how it should be at, at all times you know I especially love the angelic photos uh, the, the angelic art that she that Catherine had and uh, uh, the first time I met Catherine was at the uh, the consulate of Canada at, at a party and uh, she gave me this beautiful beautiful card that I still cherish and so, and uh, this is my husband, Bill Ashbrook. That oh, just, Bill just down, too. just down from the Bay Area, just down from San Francisco. <laughs> oh, it's so and he's pretty very there. much of an art enthusiast, by the way. Oh yeah, enjoying this party. All the effort that is in that art, and all the love, and that goes into it, is mm -hmm. it's really inspiring. How did you start painting, and how old were you? Um, I started drawing from when I was four or five, and I actually did that at school. And I started drawing all over my jotters, <laughs> and uh, you know, instead of writing, I was drawing. I got told off for that, but um, it didn't stop me, and I just continued from there. I was in. I I moved from watercolors to oils at eleven, and then um, I've just done 
oils since then, oil on canvas, because it's the best way for me. The colors remain static. I don't like acrylic. And um, it's, uh, you know, it creates the paintings. But the paintings are really concepts. They are things that could be applied to sculptures, to animation, to all kinds of different fields. So um, eventually I would like to do that with them. What is your inspiration? Um, well, they're, they're visions, and um, they come at different times, different reasons. Um, I might see them in different ways. Some of them come uh, in, in fragments, like, for instance, the blue rose over there. That was a fragmented process. I started seeing the designs and the roses. Then the two, then the couple, and then the hands with the blue rose, and and suddenly it all became one piece. And others are are, are um, much more direct, like the the ascension. I I felt like I had travelled back through time and actually witnessed it, and that's happened when I was 19, and uh, that painting is from that time. Um, I've had many, many visions. I haven't painted them all. I haven't had the opportunity, unfortunately, at the time. Um, but I would love to have some space in the future to continue to do that. Uh, my ambition is to actually paint the heaven realms, which I do see quite a lot of. I see both. I see the hell realms and I see the heaven realms. <laughs> Where can we look at your stuff? Where can we find it? Where can we buy it? Oh, well, I've got a, a website called katherineandrews.com. That's Catherine with a C, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E. -E. And the, I have an exhibition here at Modern Om. And uh, this, the room we're in is the, the uh, kind of Bedouin tent, and it's the lover's room. And then the, the one in the front is more spiritual and feminine. And that is opposite Costco on Washington, um, and the cross street is Lincoln, and it's in Venice. It's just up the road from uh, Lincoln at the traffic lights. You turn right instead of left to go into Costco. And I'm sorry, I haven't got the, the, the number. <laughs> but you can check it out on modernom.com, I think. Tell us a little bit about your green eco buildings, because they are pretty fantastic. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, I have designed what I'd call the Crystal City. It's uh, not just a sustainable architecture, it's a, actually a generative architecture. And it's um, something you can float out on the ocean. It's, I, I think we, you know, if you want seaside property, you go out onto the ocean. But basically, it's, it's utilizing a Tesla coil to desalinate the water, which um, it has got, uh, it splits the hydrogen and oxygen, which can be utilized for pumping back oxygen into the atmosphere and the hydrogen for a hydroelectric plant, or it can be smacked back together to create water for the city. The hydroelectric plant will produce electricity for the city. And the, the thing about this is that it also produces food. In the it produces of food as yeah. well? So I didn't know that. You didn't? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, well, we got, you know, it, the, the, the sea is being depleted of fish, correct? Yeah. And um, this way we can create under the city a whole series of fish farms that would be uh, not just for... Um, eating but to replenish the ocean so you have a system where the the slower fish the less likely to survive will be eaten and the ones that are more likely to survive at a, at a good age will be let loose into the water yeah. and um, also we can produce seaweed the the um, the domes and the, the architectural designs that I have done will uh, be sufficient to provide um, orchards and, and um, vegetable farming for, the, for that city or the town or whatever the, the project is. It's an expandable mandala, so you've not just got, um, you know, a, it can, it's a series of uh, buildings that will um, can grow out from a, a central column, which would be the Tesla coil. And um, you'd also have wind turbines, 
which uh, and uh, would be out to sea, so you get a fair amount of wind. You could also have current turbines, and you can have solar panels. And the designs are outside, if you care to look at some of them, um, outside of this hall, which uh, is really 21st century architecture. It is not square blocks. We're doing curves. We're doing elegant architecture. We're doing um, architecture that is more feminine than uh, a lot of this kind of uh, square block brutish stuff that we have now. <laughs> So, um, you know, that's one of my plans is to get that going. I've seen the designs. They are quite amazing. You can check them out actually at, at www.cosmodomes.com. That's C-O-S-O-M-O-D-E-S.com. Oh, that's, um, that's the gallery. That's yeah, that's the gallery. You can, you can yeah. see all of this stuff again at Catherine's website. That's www.catherineandrews.com, which is... C A T H E R I N E A N D R E W S dot com. We better hurry up and get them up there then, because they're not on there. <laughs>